guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl star flames in this video we're gonna talk about tristan thompson and chloe kardashian i want you guys to take what i'm about to say with a grain of salt of course because the reality is i have absolutely no receipts whatsoever to provide to you guys so at this point what i'm about to share with you we're gonna have to call it a conspiracy theory okay now let's get into it now a few weeks ago it was brought to my attention that tristan thompson actually dumped chloe kardashian a few months ago not sure of what month what date but it was a few months ago sometime earlier this year now i don't know if it was um you know january or when but what i'm understanding is that based on the fact that or the allegations rather let me say allegations that Tristan had dumped Chloe, they really didn't know how to spin the upcoming seasons of Keeping Up with the Kardashians because they were relying on the Chloe and Tristan storyline, right? And, you know, Tristan was like, I've given Chloe enough chance. Like, how much longer can I wait on her? I'm not getting any younger. I'm getting older and life is too short for me to stick around, wait on this woman and not knowing, you know, what she was going to do. And Tristan was like, since I've hurt you so much and since you're finding it so hard to forgive me and let us move on, I have to do you a favor and I have to part ways with you. But I'm learning that Kim Kardashian wanted to keep Tristan around because they wanted to save the image, right? The family image, the brand image, because it's going to seem as though, you know, every man is ditching them because it is said that it was about the same time that Travis Scott had ditched Kylie and it would have been too heavy for both men to be cutting ties with the family as well. Now, it is also alleged that Scott Disick was about to tap out at the same time, and that's when they gave Scott Disick the increase to return to their show, right? And they're saying because Kim is the one who basically got Tristan to come back, struck up a deal and everything. This is why we see a lot of Kim and Tristan. And I'm learning that things are good between Tristan and this young lady. She's an Islander. And Chris Jenner is liking the new Tristan Thompson that she's seeing so much so that she's trying to win Tristan back for chloe right and hence why we see chris jenner like getting tristan you know the connections the hookups and all of that but i'm learning that tristan is you know saying that he also feels guilty about hurting chloe to that point and he really doesn't want to have her lingering, trying to figure out her feelings. And he thought that it would be best for him to cut ties with her and move on from her completely. And hopefully that would have given her, you know, the strength that she needed to just move on with her life. But I'm also learning in the same sense that Chloe still loves Tristan. She doesn't want to let go of him. It's why she is there because she's mad that Tristan has let her go and has moved on. And she's mad because she cannot um, come to herself to admit that Tristan was the one who actually let her go and has moved on. And so why she's saying that Tristan is, you know, 
not appealing to her anymore because she's hella mad. She's hella pissed that she was rejected by him, that she's there like, oh, it's not as though he's all that attractive either, you know? That kind of bitter, salty woman type of vibe. So guys, I have finally decided that I'm going to share this with you all. And that is why I did the video this morning that said their storyline is not making any sense because we know Tristan is hypersexual. If he's not getting it from Chloe, if he's not getting it from Kim, like hell, he has to be getting it from someone. But I want to hear from you guys <laughs> because I honestly didn't want to talk about this because sometimes you get these tips and you don't know how authentic it is. But when you really look into everything that they have been spinning on, keeping up with the Kardashian, the Kardashians, there's one thing we know for a fact, and that is the Tristan and Chloe, Chloe narrative that they have spinning right now. It's not making any sense. Something other than what they're telling us, sharing with us, is actually going on behind the scenes. So I'm going to leave you all to let us get the discussion popping. Is it making any sense? I want to hear from you all. While you're at it, show your girls some love and see you all later. Bye, guys.